I knew that would make you laugh, Kyle. I knew <laughs> I knew you would have fun with that intro. What an opening. What an opening. Wow. Kyle, we did it. We're here. I love it, baby. We're here. Thank you for being here, Kyle Johnson. Thank you, everyone who's listening to the Oh Hello podcast, who's watching us on YouTube, who is a subscriber on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We appreciate you with us today. We have a very handsome father, husband, professional. Who are you? Why are you here? Wow. What an introduction. And I love I love the music, like you said. And I love the call outs, all the platforms you're on. You're just like, you know, multi-platform, interdimensional, multi-talented. That's crazy, Jeremy. Wow. Um, cool. I, I feel like I, I can't live up to all of this. Uh, so yeah, my name's uh my, my name's Kyle Johnson. I am a how would I say? I'm a I'm a passionate technological professional. <laughs> I've done many things over the, the years. You're a PTP. Uh, right, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm at Adobe, and I'm a uh, go-to-market strategist for our Express and Substance products. Prior to that, I was in our Document Cloud doing things with Adobe Sign, being a little more technical. Prior to that, I was uh, working with you in AdCloud many years ago, uh, doing things like uh, programmatic television. Prior to that, I was at the Ad Council, uh, you know, making Smokey the Bear ads and crash test dummy stuff. Um, yeah, you, and you've I, spoken I, at a few. You've spoken <laughs> at a handful of universities and conferences. I have. Yeah, I've I've spoken at uh, Northwestern. I've spoken at Penn. Um, done a bunch of stuff. I don't really know. Like if someone's like, who are you? I'm like, well, you just got to get to know me. So hopefully we can do that today. <laughs> they can actually answer that question for themselves. And a video game maker. That's pretty impressive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In my spare time. That is true. So with all of those skill sets, with all of those tools that you have, Kyle, how would you characterize those particular skill sets that you're going to be sharing? with the Oh Hello community. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, growing up, I always knew that like I was a little bit different. Like, you know, some people struggle with like um, like disability or things like that. And I wasn't diagnosed with um, ADHD myself until I was an adult. So I always was like, you know, into a million things at once. I always called myself a jack of all trades, master of none. And I ended up using that to my advantage. And I've always found it um, uh, relatively easy for me to juggle multiple things at once and try to be in multiple places at once and just try to learn as much as I could. And what I ended up doing was taking something that was, you know, pretty hard to grow up with when I was, you know, younger and, you know, in elementary school, middle school, I'd always get back like on my report cards, it would always say like, Kyle needs to stop talking as much. Kyle needs to pay more attention. Um, Sounds so familiar. I, I know, right? And I and I parlayed that into when I was older, um, just a using my energy for good and making sure that I was like up to date on you know everything within the industry that I'm working on, or just keeping abreast of like the news within my industry or related industries, and be like, huh, that's like a really cool concept. Um, I pride myself within my friend groups of being like the person that was like, this is going to be big, like a cup, like in, you know, um, in the next couple of years. And, you know, more often than not, like two or three years later, my friends are like, Kyle, you were right. And usually, you know, I was, I, I'm getting laughed at originally when it, when it happens. Um, laugh with, like, with. yeah, laugh with, I guess. Uh, for example, like I just hit my, I think my, my 12 year anniversary on Reddit. Um, and I used to like go on Reddit all the time when I was like, you're one year away from being a man. I know. And, um, in, in the Jewish tradition, of course. Yes. Um, and people used to laugh at me about like being a Redditor and now like everyone's mom is on Reddit and it's like, they're about to IPO and stuff like that. Not to say like, Oh, I was on Reddit. It's a social media platform. Lots of people are on it. But like, um, the thing I like to bring to my professional self is this ability to 
you know, focus on multiple things at once and really um, make sure that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm able to, to pay attention to, you know, multiple things happening. So. Yeah, that makes sense. What would you tell 20 year old, 25 year old Kyle, when it comes to mentorship, when it comes to just your 25 year old self, what have you, what feedback, what advice would you give yourself? Man. Um, deep, real deep Kyle. I'd, I'd probably tell myself to, um, work at any startup you can and take more risks. But, um, professionally, I mean, like, I think I did decently well. I would probably tell myself it like, I, I think for certain times when I was younger, I, I was working really hard. I didn't necessarily know it would pay off. And I think I would tell myself to trust myself more. Um, and to have a little more, um, you know, confidence. Um, confidence is something that you can either, I guess it comes naturally to some people or you can learn it over time. And people say like fake until you make it. Um, you know, as I've become an adult and as I've had children myself, as you mentioned, you know, one of my titles that I, that I really love is being a dad. Um, I found out that nobody knows what they're doing, even at like the highest levels of, of companies that I've been at, like no one really knows what they're doing. So I guess the one thing I would tell myself is like, um, you know, you're okay, just work hard, you'll be, you'll be fine, have confidence in what you're saying and what you're doing, and uh, it, it'll be okay. <laughs> well said, well said, Kyle. With your experiences, because you've worked at both startups and incredibly well-oiled technology companies, who are some of the mentors that you've picked up along the way, whether it's in a professional setting, personal yeah. setting, so um, I'll I'll do I'll do two mentors from my personal life and one like celebrity that I looked up to a lot. Um, one from my personal life is um, my eighth grade teacher, Mr. Frank, and uh, Mr. Frank was a mentor to me because he was the first teacher that told me like it was okay to be different. So connecting to how I was was what I mentioned earlier about, you know, growing up in a middle school and elementary school, my teachers were like, you got to be like different than you are if you want to be like, okay, and succeed. Um, I remember Mr. Frank in the early days of his class was like, if you want to doodle in the, you know, margins of your paper while you wait, that what and when you take notes, it's totally fine. And like, I remember thinking and like, this is my 13 year old brain. I'm like, wait, what? That's okay. And what he really was saying was like, as long as you get your stuff done, like it doesn't matter how you get there. It just needs to be okay. Um, and also that, that reminds me of like the greatest compliment that anyone ever gave me was I was in a, I was in a basketball tournament when I was in, um, when I was in college and it was a three on three tournament and the ref told me, um, your style is very unorthodox, but effective. And I was like, oh, thanks. And I learned um, I learned it's from like a Bruce Lee movie from like Game of Death or something. But like ever since I, I heard that, I'm like, yeah, that is like that is me to a T. Like it's OK to be a little different and, and still um, and you'll, you'll make it. So so that um, Mr. Frank was great there. Um, a celebrity that I really looked up to is Bill Russell. Um, and I really loved that Bill Russell was a player coach. Um, he has 11 NBA championships as the center on the Boston Celtics. And, you know, he was, he's been awesome. Like he, 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 he passed away, I think a couple of years ago and that hit me really hard because he was a trailblazer in um, the NBA for civil rights and integration. He was a trailblazer for his team. Um, and he was a trailblazer for like this massive multi-billion dollar organization that exists today. And, you know, without him, um, you know, putting in the extra work, he didn't just say like, I'm the best player. And like, you know, I, um, I like need the biggest salary and stuff like that. He said, I'm the best player. And I'm also going to coach this team at the same time. I'm going to take on more responsibility and have us achieve greater heights. So, you know, from him, I suppose what I get got is, um, you know, I, being a trailblazer is something that is a good thing. You should always try to find some place where you can make a difference that, you know, maybe it's a smaller like organization or something like that. And, you know, if you are good at something and you are the best person on your team, um, 
it's not necessarily an opportunity to like slack off. Like it's, it's, it's an opportunity for you to maybe make your team even greater. Um, you know, he was a mentor for his teammates in many ways, you know, once he became, you know, the elder statesman on the team. And, um, you know, that's something that anybody can do within their, um, within their organization. Um, you've been a mentor to many and you're a trailblazer. So mm -hmm. what are some ways and characteristics that embody Kyle Johnson that you're going to be bringing to the Oh Hello community? And mm -hmm. also with that said, as you know, there are several dozen different charities that we're integrated in mm -hmm. inside our platform with that, like what charities are near and dear to your heart and why? Sure. Um, I think, you know, like yourself, I think we've bonded over this before, but I, I, I think I'm a pretty empathetic person. Um, I try to have like a, a high EQ when I can, and I try to think about how other people are feeling and, and put myself in their shoes. Um, you know, I try not to judge uh, the first time I hear people, you know, either speak or, or you know, they're, I, I don't necessarily want to, you know, just take someone at, at face value. So um, being able to empathize with these individuals who might not know what they're doing at that given point, but, you know, they, they're just want to try hard and they, they want to, you know, make a difference um, at their company or just within their own personal lives, I suppose. Like that's, that's all I need to really connect with someone. And I, um, I appreciate that when, when, when people, you know, are, are um, open and I try to be open in, um, uh, in, in you know, comparison or as well. Um, so a charity, uh, man, uh, there's lots, but I, you know, you know, when you're on like, uh, like Jimmy Fallon or something, they're always like, and this is my movie that I'm, uh, that I'm like, hawking I haven't about. been on Jimmy Fallon personally. Yeah. yeah. However, you know when you're on Jimmy Fallon? No. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, the, <laughs> the charity that I want to, um, plug is a charity that I'm actually on the board for. It's called Cape, um, Chicago arts partnerships and education. And what it does is it brings um, arts into the school curriculum. So you've probably heard of STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, well, it's been, you know, discovered that STEAM is actually better. It's when you add art into that because you get better learning outcomes when you add art into, let's say, your math lesson or your history lesson. Um, you know, growing up, the work you probably remember the most is when you made like a diorama about like the war of 1812 versus your teacher just going, the war of 1812 was in 1812. Bad example, but <laughs> you know, um, so yeah, uh, Cape is in, um, I think more than 30 schools within the greater Chicago area. Um, it's been going for uh, more than 20 years now. We have teaching artists that are embedded in classrooms across the Chicago area. So for me, that's that's the one that really um, is near and dear to my heart. But, you know, in the platform, any any charity that really gives back to the youth is something that I think is 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 um, is something that's 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 good for people to select. Um, Love you know, it. Oh, hello itself is a way to give back to those, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be someone younger than you, but it's, it's, it's a way to give back to, um, the younger generation and people who have less experience. So anything where you can give back to those who might not have as much experience is, is good with me. You rock Kyle. Well, Mr. Johnson, I want to be very conscious of your dinner plans. You've got two little <laughs> kids, you've got LeBron in the background, you've got your wife. So with that said, <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Oh, and there's the gun. All right, Kyle. Thanks so much. Thank you. Oh, hello, community. Until the next one. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah.